Hello everyone, we as parents, despite having a busy day with work or any activities that we do, always look into ideas with what best we can offer our children once they are back from school. And we prefer it to be healthy, asking little time that can be offered quickly in one go, right? So here I have 3-in-1 indoor grill with 180 degrees opening design. 5 auto cooking modes from Costway which is super light in weight that I can easily carry and move it. It's perfect for an everyday use, especially in the rush hours. Um, now here is two quick recipes on mind with veggies and wholemeal wrap to make quesadillas for which in a bowl I have eggless mayonnaise, quarter teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, a teaspoon of cumin powder which is jeera powder, jeer ke puri, a teaspoon of dhania powder, coriander powder, kuttamre kalin puri, a teaspoon of red chilli powder, turmeric that I combine and chop in red, yellow and green peppers. You can add in any veggies of your choice to this and I combine all of it together and adding in very little of spring onion bulb. Power on the electric grill to preheat. This toasty maker has 5 auto modes, LED touch panel. Uh, it has a temperature control. All you need to do is press and hold the button for 3 seconds to select the auto mode, which then automatically has the temperature and time settings for every mode. I have a wholemeal wrap. I apply a thin layer of butter and then spread in the stuffing just on half of the side with cheese slice which is entirely optional and then I fold it up. You can hear the beep sound indicating the grill is ready and preheated. I have sprayed sesame oil and placed the wrap to be grilled on both the sides. It's Tuesday today. These grilling pans are nice and clean that I continue to use them. It's equipped with high quality stainless steel heating tube with 1200 watts electric panini press grill that can heat up quickly that I am planning to make Bombay style sandwich today which is quite a filling. First thing first, um, I set two potatoes to boil by just peeling off the skin and place them in water as a whole. And then into a mixy jar, I use uh, the top layer of the bread which often tends to go waste. Let's just use it for good to make chutneys. Adding bread into the chutney makes it taste good and thick as well. And into this, I add in one green chilli, an inch of ginger, handful of mint leaves, handful of coriander leaves, salt to taste, half a lime and very little of water to grind into a smooth chutney. The potatoes are soft that I chop them into circles. With three layers of bread slices, I am using wholemeal bread uh, with a layer of butter on one of them. And then I apply mint and coriander chutney. Eggless mayo on the other slice. Ketchup on this one. And then I layer up cucumber slices, tomato slices and potato slices. I sprinkle in chaat masala, onion slices and cheese slice. As you can see, this is quite a good thickness of sandwich and uh, which can be grilled beautifully. The adjustable upper grill plate that can be opened up this way and closed up onto the sandwich which will be grilled evenly on both sides. With the help of floating hinge, the top plate can be flipped to evenly press sandwich of different thickness. For Wednesday after school, I have a little bit of time on hand to make peas and potato stuff wraps for which in a pan I have a teaspoon of sesame oil, half a teaspoon of cumin seeds, jeerke, one onion finely chopped, half a teaspoon of garlic and ginger paste, a tablespoon of kasuri methi, boiled and mashed potato, half a cup of peas. I give them a good stir until the peas soften. And then to this I add in turmeric powder, half a teaspoon of chaat masala, half a teaspoon of amchur powder, half a teaspoon of green chilli paste, salt to taste and then a teaspoon of butter to get the creamy texture. 
Now this is optional because I'm giving this uh, mainly to kids. I love to add in butter and then I turn off the flame adding in lime juice for the stuffing. Yes, we can manually set the time and temperature to the grill. I have set it at 210 degrees, um, both the top and the bottom uh, grilling pan for three minutes to be preheated with a good generous amount of stuffing that I layer and spread onto a wholemeal wrap with a spray of oil to be grilled. Beautifully done, right? It tasted absolutely fantastic. This wrap with this filling is quite heavy that can be made for breakfast as well uh, for a very long and busy day ahead. It's Thursday today and I have aubergine to be grilled with homemade curry. I cut the aubergine which is badnekai into thick slices from top to bottom. I use the auto mode for vegetables. This indoor grill from Costway has the auto modes, 5 different auto modes including the vegetable uh, setting and sausage fish, chicken, beef steak as well uh, as auto modes. Uh, I place all of them together, the aubergine slices all of them together at once to be grilled. And parallelly I set making the curry with oil, jeerke, two garlic cloves which is finely chopped, one onion, two tomatoes chopped, And once the tomatoes turn soft, I add in water, the leaves, which is half a bunch. And then I add in red chilli powder, turmeric, dhania powder, jeera powder, salt and pizza seasoning. I turn off the flame and then add in fresh lime juice. Look at these aubergine slices, which are grilled evenly with just very little oil. I am very happy with this electric grill that we can now take it on our holiday, making life easy to cook and clean. I am leaving a link for you all in the description box with a coupon code to get a discount of 10% from Costway, so please make sure to use it. Grilled aubergine slice with homemade curry, pepper slices and the leaves made after school snack. Very interesting and fascinating. And now that I have Shreya at home, every meal tastes good. In fact, double good. For making that Friday interesting, I have one large gorget that I cut into thick strips. Place all of them together at once by brushing them with a spray of oil. And as they are getting grilled, with a tablespoon of butter in a bowl, I add in garlic granules, parsley, minced garlic paste, salt that I keep it ready. These courgette or zucchini slices are grilled that I apply the garlic butter onto them generously and heat a teaspoon of flax seeds roasting them on low flame and it's important to eat them straight away to get a good intake of omega 3 into our system. I sprinkle it on top to be enjoyed straight away. <laughs> Cleaning is all easy, pressing the button to remove the grilling plates that are dishwasher safe. And I place these plates into the dishwasher.
What I loved the most is this electric sandwich maker is equipped with a detachable drip tray to collect excess fats and liquids during cooking. I really hope you found this video helpful and useful to make every snack after school interesting for your kids. And if you did, then please give me a thumbs up, share this video with your loved ones and please consider subscribing to my channel for more such interesting videos to follow. Thank you so much for watching.